Hi, Headstone Manor Crafters. Um, my name's Victoria, I've been with you before, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a homemade kite. It's a really simple design. You can make it as technical as you want and as decorated as you want. If you're feeling artistic, you can make your own papers. If you're feeling like slightly artistic, you can use wrapping paper or bought paper from a shop or anything lying around the house, basically, so long as it's really lightweight. Okay, if you're gonna make your own, you'll need something like a grease proof paper or a wrapping paper or a parchment paper, which I thought you might have lying around the house. You can have some paper straws if you want a small one. I have these, these are actually from inflatable balloons and you kind of hold them on a stick. I had some of these at a project I worked on so I had them left over. But barbecue skewers are fine or sticks from the garden. You'll need some crayons, some leaves from the garden for your rubbings. You'll need a good quality thread or cotton or string, something that's not going to break easily if you tug it. Okay. You'll want some scissors and I don't know if you're like me but I save all of my tissue paper from <laughs> presents of packaging just for craft projects with my kids because they're so expensive so I always have stuff like this lying around the house. You also need some sellotape, maybe a pencil, okay? Right, so this is greaseproof paper with some rubbings. Now, everyone should have done these as a kid at school. All you do is you take your parchment or your greaseproof paper and you put your leaves upside down in a pretty pattern. And then we're gonna rub, rub, rub over them. Can you see them? And I'm going to do this really fast so you see the end result. Okay, here's one I made earlier and I paid a little bit more attention so it's a bit neater. And I'm going to be using barbecue skewers to make the crucifix shape that goes in the middle of my kite. The barbecue skewers that I have are about 30 centimetres long. I'm going to chop the sharp dart off at the end, which gives me about 28 centimetres. And I want my second skewer, which is going to be the middle of the crucifix, to be just a little bit shorter, so I've made it just over 20 centimetres. Okay, and I want to make sure that I stick them together about halfway across. So turning your piece of paper over, I'd like my kite to look like this. I'm going to tape my piece into the centre. And what I really want to do is I want to hold it at the top and the bottom. Right, and then I want to measure my stick so that it's an equal length either side. So I'm going to make a mark in it of about 10 centimetres. Okay. And I'm going to stick that about two thirds of the way up or a third of the way down. And again, I'm going to stick the end. And this gives me the basis of my shape. Now, if you want to be really clever, you can tie this bit together and I'll show you how. So taking some thread, you're going to go diagonally underneath your cross. You can start with a tie and a knot. And then this is the tricky bit. We've got to feed it under diagonally across again. One going this way, 
one going that way. Don't worry if the tape comes off at this stage, we'll reinforce it all later. Okay, and we're going to tape it again. Okay, and then you might need to get an adult to help you with this bit. We're basically working round the cross. So that we're taping it in place and this just reinforces it and stops it sorry, falling apart okay and then I'm going to tape it back down onto my paper where I want it okay you can do it in a knot or a bow okay and there is my cross all right to cut some of your string to about 30 centimeters in length and what you're going to do is you're going to tie a slip knot or a knot here and then you want another one here and what that means is it's right over left and left over right okay i'll just finish my knot there it's a bit fiddly and you want it to have a little bit of a gap there okay and then we're going to get the rest of your thread on your cotton reel and we're going to tie it at the top of the other string. So left over right, sorry my fingers are in the way, it makes it quite tricky for you to see. So left over right, right over left. And we can reinforce that with some tape later and you should have a cotton reel attached to some string. Now this is the tricky bit, okay? We're going to make a knot here. So we're going to go under the middle loop. Can you see? The middle loop here. You go under the middle loop so that it catches. Okay, and then we're going to go through this piece here and back on ourselves. All right, and it just makes a little knot that we can adjust and we want to make sure it's kind of hanging in the middle of the cone. Now it's slightly over to the side, so I'm going to have to have a fidget. So don't tie it tight until you're happy that that's in the middle. In fact, let's just pull it down this way a wee bit. That's it. Okay, there we go. Right, now we're sticking everything in place. Now traditional kites are normally reinforced with string by making a little notch in the end of the wood and the string goes into the groove, goes one, two, three, four and around and that keeps its frame. That's really tricky to do so we're going to reinforce it with tape for the younger ones so that everybody can have a go at this. And that gives us our kite shape and it also gives us a clean edge for which to cut around. If you want to highlight the edge, you can get your ruler and you can draw, okay? But I'm going to just cut it. And what I want to do is I want to cut about an inch away around the kite. I hope you can see this. making sure you don't cut your thread. So put your thread in the middle of your kite. Okay, and now we fold over and we glue again. Okay, so one, don't worry about these edge bits just yet. Two. Okay. Three. And then the fourth. And I'm going to do exactly what I did before and I'm going to tape them down. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Like this. And this just reinforces my pipe. I'm going to roll it around for me. 
Now, to tighten neaten this up, you can tuck it into itself. Make a nice little seam there, okay? See what you've done is I've, I've put, put that corner in again I've tucked it in gently so that I keep my points because my points what gives it the diamond shape that we all know as a traditional kite okay, trim off any loose tape and you're done you can cut off any loose bits of paper. Tap about those corners on a darker background. Don't forget to tuck them in and stick them down so that you've got your point. Okay, now your kite will be flying from this string and the cotton reel is perfect because it you can let it out if you want it to go higher and you can shorten it when you're carrying it about. Now, if you don't have a cotton reel, a toilet roll will do with some string, okay? So, for the finishing touches, I'm using an orange string and I'm going to tie it like I did before, left over right, right over left. I'm speaking back to front, so you'll be doing it your left over right and your right over left. Okay, we can tape that on and I've done it probably about a metre long so that it's got some pretty things hanging in the wind. Now what I've done here is I've cut some tissue paper into squares or rectangles and I've given them a fringe and I do this so I've got some long pieces for the front of my kite I've got some short pieces for the dangly bit and I basically, it's like I'm making a comb with some scissors. So I'm slicing halfway up the paper and as you can see, here's some I made earlier. Now it's a bit of an ode to piñatas because I love piñatas and this is essentially how they're packed. Okay, and then what we do is because it's tissue paper, we're just twisting it on. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you just give it a little twist and it looks like it's got a little frilly skirt. And then we'll do the next one down and we're gonna give it a little twist. Twist on, can you see that? And I think I'll go for some orange because I love all the fun colors, just like a pinata. But you can use whatever you've got at home, tissue paper, even some nice little shapes in silver foil would look fun glowing in the, blowing in the wind. And we've got our last colour here. Now you can style it how you want, you can put the order of colours like you want. But as you see, it makes a cute little tail. And when you've finished, you just add a little bit of sellotape here and you tape it. I'm going to tape this one onto the bum or the bottom of the kite because I want one to start right at the top and that also helps this stay in place. And then I'm going to tape my other little bit here. And that just helps it. So if it's blowing in the wind, it won't kind of fly away. And I'll repeat that down the rest of them. And then what I can do is turning the kite over, I fancy putting a pinata fringe on it. So, taking some Pritt stick this time, or some sellotape, or gloopy glue if you don't have either, I'm going to tape the line here. I have to tape directly onto the, because I want it to frill and make shapes in the wind. Okay, and then I just cut off the bit I don't need. And then I think I'll put some fun orange. 
and I'll finish with some fun purple. And you've got to overlap them slightly because that's what gives it its pinata fringe. And basically the sky's the limit, but you don't want too much stuff on there because you do want it to fly. So I'll just cut this off. So this is it finished. And all you need now is a nice windy day. Enjoy.